goody baby i'm back y'all so y'all i'm gonna do a throwback thursday look and girl you have to track your progress y'all hold on i don't think my thing on the right frame okay so I thought my camera was on the wrong frame. But I'm going to do a throwback Thursday look, y'all. Of the first look that, like, put me on the map. And I'm just looking at it like, wow. It was so fucked up. Nah, but for real, look at this, y'all. I'm going to put it on the screen somewhere right here, too. But look at this. Girl, Michael Jackson is still alive. Like, what? Like, look at it. OMG. Ah, the pink lip is sending me. So, long story short, I'm about to um do my brows and, you know, prep my lid and stuff like that so that the video is not too long. And then we're going to go straight into the eyes. Y'all, this was the palette I used. So, um, I got the other one, but I just feel like, oops. I got this one. This is the um, Take Me Back to Brazil. And this is the original one. This was like one of my first palettes I ever bought. Shout out to BH Cosmetics. They put me on a map. Literally, I used to buy all their products. So, yeah, without further ado, let's jump straight into this brow and this base. And let's try to see where my blend game where my makeup game is at 2020 because right there sweetie that wasn't it so without further ado like comment and subscribe and let's get this video going i'm gonna start out with my brows first let me look at my brows in this picture let me see oh halo baby my whole face was just white <sighs> okay so Starting off with the brows. Let's see. Let's see, Rita. Have you improved, sweetie? do this colorful look i'm gonna just do the bottom of my um brow in deep olive which is the lighter color in the elf camo concealer so i'm gonna be using that i'm about to use that to do my under eyebrow and then for the top i'm gonna just be using my milani cosmetics um two in one foundation in the shade espresso so that is what you all are about to see and let's get it going. Oh uh, yeah, I'm also using my Makeup Is My Life Concealer Brush to do my brows. I've been loving this brush to do my brows. Please go and check her out. This brush is the best. Okay, one brow down, one more to go. Oh, okay, y'all, here we go. 
I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Okay, so first I'm about to open this up. Yeah, this used to be my baby. So, without further ado, you guys, I'm going to go in with my Morphe um, M505 brush. And first, I'm about to put down, I'm about to put this pink all around my crease and lid because back in the day, I wasn't using transition colors like whatever the color I wanted it to be that's just what it was so I'm about to use this hot pink shade for my transition color with my Morphe M505 brush hold on because I don't want no creases in my shadow that is key ladies please make sure your base is strictly creaseless so here we go and actually, I'm gonna just a pad because I'm using all mattes today, so I really want them to pick up super pigmented. And I'm not using a white base, so back in the day, y'all, I used to use my white base, and I tried to look for it, but couldn't find it, so I'm gonna have to use this concealer base. So I'm just patting this color right in my crease. Now I'm about to stamp some purple on my outer color, on my outer corner, and kind of flare it out because, baby, I flared it out in that picture. So, so I'm just taking my brush cleaner and cleaning that pink off this brush. I really need to go to the store and buy more brushes, but who cares? Who cares? This one and that one. And I'm only going to keep that shadow right towards the end. I don't really want to bring it out too far. So now I'm just going back in with a little bit more of that pink. So that the purple is not too harsh because we didn't... It was harsh um, on that picture, okay? I must say though, like, my dramatic look is something that got me noticed. Like, got me um, where I am today. And you know, a lot of people can do, like, natural looks but can't do like soft looks i was like that for a minute so um i literally started off doing like dramatic beats and then i found my way into soft beats like more subtle colors on the shadow but for the most part i didn't know how to do like <laughs> simple natural eyeshadow like all I knew how to do was color so it's kind of 
weird because people will start off the opposite or you know just a quick little pointer but i used to do my makeup every day y'all it didn't matter i didn't have nowhere to go when i first started i just i loved it so much like so it wasn't no reason for it wasn't it didn't have to be an occasion for me to do my makeup girl i was in the cab like it was so boring so i didn't need a reason i'm just steady building those colors and making sure that my colors are blended nicely so yeah that's cute already now on to the lid colors so i'm about to apply a little bit more of this um concealer on my lid with just a fluffy brush MUA please don't be scared like let people know that's the thing like don't don't jump off the porch and just be like taking clients and just I can do any and everything like and then you mad because they not satisfied with you know how you did they make up like let them know what you know how to do and what you don't know how to do that way they not expecting some over the top ass look like always keep it a thousand like it's it's okay to let your clients know what you can and can't do seriously I still do it now People be like, yeah, do me a triple cut crease. Like, girl, I don't fucking do that. You know I don't know how to do that. Nah, but I, I be like, girl, listen. I'm going to give you a cut crease. And what you choose to tell people it is, that's on you. Because I'm not tripling no cut crease. I don't got time for that. Nah, but I really just be letting people know what I can do and what I can't. Also, another thing when I'm applying my base, um, somebody had asked me, like, how was I cutting my crease without cutting my crease? So, literally, my socket stops right here. So, I always just stay right there. That way, when I look up, it still looks like I cut it. It's so hard to describe, but I hope, I hope y'all can get what I'm saying. I just don't go above my crease because if I do, then it won't look like it's cut already. So, I honestly think I'm going to start from here and work my way out. So, let me see what color girl I do in my freaking... Ugh, this picture is so cringy. Like, the lip, just everything. So, I'm pretty sure I started off with like a yellow or lime green. So, I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to go in with this brush right here. It's a little more smaller, so... I can pick up the product and I'm gonna go in with these two shades right there and I'm literally just gonna tap it on It's washing out my color because it's showing up so good hopefully y'all can see it like how I'm seeing it I hope so I really really do These colors are like super duper chalky so it did definitely fall out you guys but don't mind that the colors are so pigmented so the next color I went in with was green I'm gonna go in and pick up this green and this one hold on this and that wait a minute I feel like y'all can't see there we go that one and that one and I just use this one and this one it's so hard trying to point with the nails on 
So I'm tapping it lime green right on the top of the yellow. So when applying shades that you want to blend together, literally, I always say it's like a color wheel, you guys. It truly is. Like yellow is right next to green. Green is right next to blue. So when I'm applying them, I'm literally just tapping them on. I'm not swiping because I really want that color to be super pigmented. Like, I can't stress that enough. I don't want the color to get lost. And I'm just applying it right where that yellow ends. I'm tapping it lightly so that the ombre effect can be perfect. I think my baby woke. I can't do nothing with him, y'all. He woke. Hey, booty. So now I'm about to apply um yeah these two toy clay shades right there hey what you doing up Ugh. hey babe it's still sleepy it's still sleepy two toy clay shades I'm about to pop that right now so at least if he wake up I'm whispering and shit at least if he wake up I'll be done with the eyes because this is the last part I'm just going back in with this brush and I put I put a little bit of purple on them I'm so scared y'all baby if you wake up it's a dub it's a dub so last but not least, you just want to go back in and make sure your colors didn't get lost by us putting so many shades on our lid. So we're going to just go back in and touch up everything. have a watercolor eye from back in the day already right now I can see that it's a thousand percent better <laughs> than my one from back in the day like it's crazy like don't get me wrong the blend game was strong then it's still strong now now I'm just playing but we about to move on to liner because at this point I gotta wrap it up in so I'm using my black radiance liquid liner did I even have on liner Oh, child, I didn't. Eh. I didn't have on no luna, y'all. So, 
thank God I learned how to do it. That's why I tell y'all all the time, don't get discouraged if you don't know how to do your liner because it's okay. So I'm actually gonna do my liner like super elongated. Elongated, is that the word? I'm gonna make my liner longest. But I'm about to apply some mascara and pop on my lashes from the Bella brand. And then we're going to come back to do this face. Um, for the side with my concealer first. So, damn, I'm running through this. Look, y'all. What? Mm -mm. I'm going back to my um, LA Pro Girl. Nope. Because, mm -mm, $6 and I've only been using it. I've been using enough. Let me stop because I didn't get my six dollars worth for sure, and it ain't all the way gone. So, anywho, I'm about to conceal my under eye first. On this picture, you can't even see where my concealer start and stop. Girl, my whole face is just white. Like, hee hee, hee hee. I'ma say what's up, what's up. I love you, Michael. But I was definitely channeling you, baby. R.I.P. Michael Jackson. Period. My damp real technique beauty sponge. But I definitely get a lot of questions about like, you know, how did my journey start and stuff like that. I definitely didn't touch your bases on it or like what advice do I have for new Emmy ways? And my only advice is if you have a passion for it. I promise others is gonna see it like they just gonna see it and they is gonna rock with you so don't give up don't compare your work that's right one of the main things that you know I can I, that's like some of the best advice I can give you because it's gonna be so easy for you to see like others and feel like they doing more or better you just really have to focus on your craft and the people that is rocking with you like once you get once you start it's gonna take off you're gonna know like don't let nothing discourage you don't just you know stay true to what you is if you only do natural makeup then you know that's what you do. If you do motherfucking just glitter cut creases, then that's what you do. People gonna rock with you for what you do. So, you know, you cannot focus on what other people are doing. I get so many people who take my one-on-ones, they be like, I'm just scared to take clients. Don't be scared to take clients. That is what helps you grow. I'm telling you, when I first started doing makeup, y'all, I didn't know how to color match to save my life. What? I used to spend so much time on clients. Now, you out my chair in 40 minutes tops. Like, gone. Gone head on. Now, but I used to spend so much time because I wanted to perfect what I love to do. So, everything takes time. Don't get discouraged. Keep going. Like, you got this. If this is what you got a passion for, you got this. I'm telling you, you got this. Like, you got this. Nobody can take what God has planned for you. Okay? Nobody can take away from that. Nobody can take away from your craft, your gift. 
none of that so keep going i'm i promise it's gonna pay off in the long run if you stop anyway and you start i'm gonna find your ass and i'm gonna beat you now nah, but um now i'm about to apply my foundation this is the fit me in 355 dewey and my milani in espresso i'm applying the dewey right underneath my concealer won't won't and a milani right underneath And I'm using my makeup is my life brush. It's time for me to clean my sis now. I didn't did my makeup like three, four times with her. Now I'm gonna go down the sides of my nose with um, my Wet and Wow in the shade Mahogany. And I'm using this brush. This is a setting brush. But this is truly the look that put me on the map. I did this face probably a hundred times in the summer um, that I started like 2015. Damn, I started summer 2015. It was either 2015 or 2014, but I did so many people this look. It was ridiculous. Like this was the look that put me on. So I'm grateful for this look, okay? <laughs> So now I'm about to set my under eye. Oh y'all, I bought me a new 330. Mm mm mm. New, new shit. Okay. Because I always rock the new, new shit. Um, I got this one too. Because I'm gonna try it. Tan walnut. I feel like it was a little more cooler. The um. Olive one is a little more on the yellowy side, so yeah. I said I was just gonna try it. I really been messing with those um concealers, so why not give them a try? But I'm gonna use this till I can't no more. So yeah, we going in with the 330 to set our under eye. I'm using this flat side of this Too Faced brush that I got a million gazillion years ago, but it's considered a foundation brush if you're looking for this kind of brush in the store. I just always try to look back at where I started. I say that all the time because I mean it like. Um, I just was thinking the other day, I'm like, wow, like I'm really on YouTube. People are really watching my content. Like I started out watching people do YouTube. So it just be crazy like the path that God be having in store for you like I never seen myself on YouTube so it's kind of like weird because I learned everything that I know from them to YouTube and you know just trying 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 it out on myself so I just I appreciate the journey I, I love the journey I love the people I'm meeting the longest I'm loving just everything like i'm really just starting to like i'm just so grateful i gotta stop putting my 
hand in the front of the freaking camera because it keeps on making me dark so um for my under eye i looked at it looked at a mess on this picture okay so i'm gonna go into this black right there and i'm gonna pop that right on my waterline you know what for the bottom I think I'm just gonna do some pink and purple so fun damn yeah I'm gonna just add some pink and some purple Damn! Bring that yellow down. Stop! Hey! Hey! Y'all, he do not care about nothing I'm trying to do, honey. Okay, he don't care. I'm just adding that lime green color. I'm adding a little orange to the bottom. Just to kind of like tie it together because I feel like it's missing orange. I cannot fume with my baby. He is bad. Oh, I cannot wait to bring this head back to life, y'all. It's so crunchy. It's so crunchy. So, yes. Now we are about to set our whole face using this 360. Bad fit me. I'm about to go in with the Sahara Blush Palette. This is the Volume 1. And I'm about to use actually these three shades. One, two, three. Oh man, a little pink blush. I don't even know if I use blush on the picture. Oh, I cannot wait to compare this picture. It is going to be like what the F, okay? Okay, y'all, so I had a pink lip. <laughs> Girl, I did all this and did a pink lip at the end. So, you know, I wasn't in my right state of mind. Then I'm not in my right state of mind now because I'm going to do a pink lip. But I'm going to do it the right way. So, I'm going to kind of like ombre it a little bit. So, let me go get the lipsticks and I'll be right back. Okay, so for the lip, I got Cyber. I got this pink shade by Maybelline. And I got silly and I got some black liner. So fingers crossed that we smoked this ombre pink purple-ish lip. Line my lips with black. Oh, I should go out like that. Like I lean like a cholo back and forth. I lean like a cholo. I lean like a cholo. Period. Okay, now I'm gonna buff this out so that it's not so harsh.
Okay, now I'm about to add the cyber color. It's like a deep purple by MAC. to add this Maybelline color in the center in the shade Romantic. It's like a light pink shade. Hopefully it pops up. I absolutely love it. So I really want to add gloss. Don't know exactly if I'm going to add gloss yet. But I am going to do my hair real quick. And I will be right back to set my face with you all. But for right now, yes honey. Get into it. Throwback Thursday. And now I'm about to add just a little bit of this gloss on the top. Y'all know I love my gloss. So this is by um, Ulta. This is just a shiny sheer gloss by Ulta. Now it is perfect. Let me set my face. A MAC Fix Plus. I mean, Prep and Prime Spray. Ooh. So, so pretty. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Girl, let's do a side by side before we get up out of here. Because, baby. Woo. We came a long way. Oh my gosh. Then and now. Get into it. I love y'all to death. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all for the next video.